Hi everybody, uh, my name is Lauren Morocco. I'm a Conval Art and Colby Sawyer Art alumni. Um, I graduated from Conval in 2013 and then I got a degree in ceramics and education from Colby Sawyer College and now I work as a kindergarten through third grade art teacher at Center Woods Elementary in Ware. And um, being a teacher and a student of the arts has been really amazing. I am so fortunate to have had so many great um, co-teachers and, and teachers of my own who have, I've, I've really looked up to. Um, and now being a teacher myself through this remote learning has been kind of a struggle. Um, I've had to really open my mind <laughs> to more possibilities for what art making really is. Um, I've created a website with my other uh, teachers at my school. Um, we're called the UA team, the Unified Arts team, and I can send that guy, that to you if you'd like to see it. Um, but I have two sections. One is really the creation of art, and another part is the observation of art. So I go outside. It's kind of like a vlog style thing, um, and I look for art in nature or anywhere I can really find it. So I'm trying to cater to students who don't have art supplies at home and aren't able to do a lot of creating on their own. So hopefully through that observation, they're still keeping those techniques that I've taught them. I wanted to show you my little workstation here. Um, I have a pretty small house and I live off grid. So all of my electricity is solar and water is rainwater, blah, blah, blah. So um, that's a whole challenge that I've kind of had to adapt to remote learning with. So I've got my thing to hold my phone when I do videos and stuff like that when I record. Usually my computer's here so I have my mouse pad, um, my paint brushes are over here. I've got some pencils and pens and scissors, just some simple stuff. Um, I have some ceramics with me that I made at Colby Sawyer and I think I even have some from Conval um, and it's good to keep these around. It kind of shows my progression of growth and it just really brings back a lot of good memories, you know, to keep these things um, that I treasure, you know, that I've worked so hard on. Um, I don't have a home ceramic studio, so I've had to keep busy with other art making. So I've been doing a lot of uh, crochet, some fiber arts. I've also been doing a lot of jewelry making. I've got, <laughs> I made these ones. Um, and, you know, just just some simple things that are really helping me keep that momentum going because when I stop making, I stop creating, I really get into a slump. Um, and just keeping keeping that going, keeping the ball rolling um, is important. A lot of my art making right now has been geared towards students. So I found some old envelopes and I thought that that might be like junk mail, might be something that students have a lot of. And so I created this robot um, and I, make, I will record that, the process of how I do it and you know, I use silly voices and stuff, and I'll upload that onto my website and my YouTube channel and stuff like that so students can can access that at their house or in their home. Um, yeah, so doing things that aren't my first choice has been, a, you know, something to, to work on during this remote learning time. Um, I would love to have a home studio, but I just haven't gotten there yet. So um, I think that that's on the list of, of things to do, but until I get there, I'm just going to keep plugging away, working for my students, and trying to work for myself too. Bye. Good luck.